I am talking to you as a unicorn because the dermatitis on my face is really bad and I don't want to have to look at it while I'm editing and I also can't see the camera so if this isn't even pointed at me I do apologise but anyway um, last week when I thought about making a weekly vlog I had a grand vision of having like little bits where it said what day it was and having it all segmented really nicely but it just didn't turn out like that so here is a random assortment of clips that happened over a seven day period. Nibbling. So I think Tank is done nibbling. But Sharky still is, so he might get that stolen. You're a greedy. You're a greedy butt. Yeah, look, it's your new pouch. Do you like it? Make it all stinky so that you're like sitting in there. Oh. Pixel's ventured in there. Not for long, but you went in there. Are you going to go in there, Sharky? You're kind of holding it closed with your foot. There you go. Happy enough to sit on it at least. This light seems fine, but if I do this, it's, it's not fine. It's Monday, which means posting orders day. And I've already been to the city and I posted some orders and I like got some stuff that we needed. And I also got a few other bits. I do like a little haul. <laughs> I don't know, it's not really interesting enough. I went to Toys R Us possibly for the last time. I'm so sad that they're closing, but everything's discounted, so I thought it was a good opportunity to get a last few bits. But I also got some envelopes, posting orders. I got some more of this tissue paper from Wilkinson's because I think it's only going to be there for Easter, and it's such nice colours that I didn't want to run out of it instantly and I also got this pack of paper from Poundland it's a few different colours I just want to see what happens when it goes through the printer and then from Toys R Us I got these hair clips which feel very much like something I should already own so that was a good good find and this little Pikachu purse which I have been looking at this in various places for months and months and just have been like, oh, it's not very practical, and he'll just get dirty, and I probably shouldn't spend the money on it. But I changed my mind. I don't think that this is a silly thing to get. I think it's going to make me really happy to have him hanging off my bag. He has like a keyring type thing, and he is technically a coin purse, but you can't get much in there. It'll be really handy for like a lip balm or something, though. I will definitely put him to use at some point. He's making me happy now anyway. We just started watching the original, what is it, Indigo League? The Pokemon first series. So it made me really, really, really want it. Because Pikachu in that is just so, so good, so cute. My hair's such a mess at the minute. Look at all these weird little broken bits that are fluffing out all over the place. And my shaved bit now has got long enough if I sleep on it funny, it will stick out at a funny angle for the rest of the day, which is fun. That's a nice logo. Who drew that? I don't know, it's pretty awesome though, isn't it? It's pretty cool. I'd like to know who drew it. I think they're really talented and super cool. <laughs> okay, hi. It's Tuesday. Um, I think it's like lunchtime already. I've totally got distracted watching um, Mahal Prince's saved live stream 
on Instagram about his like wedding inspo and some pieces that he's bought for that and yeah that that ran until he got cut off so that was pretty long but I watched it and I liked it and I, I have no regrets but that is all I've done for this Tuesday I mean that's not strictly true every morning we nebulize the rats so I have achieved something important but I think I need to go and do something that's at least mildly productive because this this can't be my my Tuesday my whole day can't be watching other people manage to have nice things and then nothing else for myself I found something productive to do I've made my mum um, a card for Mother's Day and yeah I'm gonna show it to you because this video will be on the internet after Mother's Day and I'm pretty sure that my mum doesn't really know that YouTube exists so it's fine she wouldn't see it anyway but what I'm wondering is how this glitter glue is gonna dry oh I'm too close to it because at the moment it looks really cool but obviously it's gonna like flatten out and it might not look as shiny and amazing when once it's dry so I have to wait for it to dry and then I might like add some more stickers or something but here is the card kind of collaged it together this paper is the paper that I bought from Poundland yesterday it's surprisingly good for drawing on like obviously it's not like really good drawing paper but I mean I penciled this stuff and then fine lined and then rubbed it out I thought rubbing out on it would just like tear the paper apart but it's not too bad actually but yeah I'm just gonna make sure nothing touches it while those glue dots dry and then see if it needs like additional sticker gems or something. I've been working on my K-pop scene and what I'm doing at the minute is trying to figure out if I need to squeeze all of these screenshots onto one page or if there like can't be too many pages that are just screenshots from good things. I feel like I shouldn't just have a zine that is page after page of screenshots that I've saved but maybe that would be okay. I also had a go at printing on that Poundland paper and it's not too bad. Like this is a little bit see-through but I think it's usable definitely and like if it's not um, held up it looks fine. And I think it'll be really fun to use coloured paper like as the main body of the zines. So I'm really glad that it, it is printable. I was really worried I was going to run it through the printer and it was just going to bleed and be really bad. But it's fine. I'm very happy about it. I'm going to work until Will gets back. And then we will go food shopping. And then that will be the end of my day. And I'll be able to eat some food and watch some anime maybe. We're so close to finishing the first series of Attack on Titan now. And I really, really want to know what's going on. I'm just like, what is going on? I made this recently just like as practice and now I'm going to take it out of the ring to see what happens like whether the fabric's going to pucker up really badly or anything it looks alright actually I thought when I undid it, all this fabric around here would 
like pucker up like it was only being held taut by the ring. I'm quite pleased with that. I really want to get good at French knots because I think they look really cool. I had a look through some old sketchbooks and I've picked out some designs that I think I'm going to make some patches with. So I'm just trying to find the right colours for what I want. And then yeah, I think I'm going to draw these up onto some fabric and see if I can get a few done. I have, I've had patches in my shop for quite a while, um, but I think I'm running low on patches and I don't really want to just remake ones that I've made before, so I want to try and make something new. Before I go and post this, I thought I would show how that glue has dried flat. And I think it is done a good job. I think it's pretty shiny. I thought it wouldn't be as glittery. I think this is ready to go. I was going to film some little bits while I was out posting that card, but then I got rained on really hard, so I couldn't. But I'm back now. I'm warm again. And I'm going to carry on with my sewing. This is where I got to yesterday. This rabbity one didn't really work. I tried French knots to make circles down here and they're a bit too big. But this cat one, I'm really pleased with. And then I've still got a little rabbity thing drawn there to work up. I'm going to carry on with that this afternoon. This took forever. I had a lot of trouble with this. I had to unpick it loads of times and I don't really know why. I think it's just one of those days you think something's going to take like a little bit of time and then it just takes forever but I got it done ah. I'm not sure that I like it but the point of these was just to kind of have a bit of a practice and see what works and what doesn't I definitely think like the coloured sections look really good without an outline but they don't really work when they're pale colours so that is something to remember and yeah, the cat one was a success, so at least I have that. I didn't really... Oh, focus. But I think it's just because I'm tired today. I stayed up kind of late last night and then I got rained on earlier and it's really cold today. I think I'm just tired. I'm sure the video, the video, I'm sure the video will be fine. It is what it is anyway. It doesn't, you know, what, what is good and bad is all is not real. It doesn't matter. But yeah, it's only like 20 past four. So I'm sure I can do something by the end of the day to make me feel like I've been productive. Because this, this sewing, this... This little dude here has not made me feel satisfied. It was kind of difficult and it doesn't look very good. <laughs> I need to do something that will make me feel like I've achieved something. Which I know is silly because even if you make something and it turns out wrong, it's still worth doing. At least it's practice. I'll be better at sewing. I don't know. But yeah, I think I want to find something else to do. So that I don't feel like I haven't done anything, but I don't know what that's going to be. Because I feel like I'm just in one of those moods. Whatever I do, it's not going to feel like it's enough to count as good. But, I don't know man, maybe I should just go to sleep. Maybe I should just go to bed. Should we all just take a moment to appreciate this piece of fringe here? It's having a good time. For the past like three days it's been in a plait and then I undid the plait this morning and it's just, it's just having a party, it's having a great time. Now that the worst of winter is over, my skin's calming down a little bit and hopefully we'll just get better. So I thought today I would try like a little makeup test. Um, I've got it. I put some pink eyeliner down here and also in here, kind of opposite each other. And then I know that I wear glitter like on my 
I don't know, is that cheekbone? Is that higher? Up here somewhere. And then I also put some on my eyelids to see what would happen. And yeah, my, the real test is the eyeliner. Ooh. Just because my eyes water quite a lot. So I don't know if it will stay there for any amount of time. I wanted to test it because we're going out on Sunday for lunch with Will's family. And even though I wouldn't feel comfortable wearing like really crazy makeup, like I'm not going to be sticking my gems on or anything. I still, it's nice to put a little bit of fancy on your face. So I just wanted to see if it would work before doing it on the day and then it half rubbing off and looking weird or something. But yeah, we shall see if it lasts. Yesterday I did not feel so good, but today I currently feel a bit better and I'm gonna endeavor to have a good day. I've started painting this t-shirt I didn't film myself doing it because I thought it was just going to go really badly, but it's turning out pretty good. I'm putting these hearts and flowers all over it, and then I'm going to put faces on all of them. And I also glued this embroidery that I did the other day onto some felt, and then I'm going to sew, sew it down and cut it out and put it on my jacket, I think, to see how it all holds together. And because it's cute and my jacket needs more things. But yeah, I think now it is lunchtime. I think it's the end of the day. I feel like I've been productive. I feel like this chair makes my back hurt. And that I've done enough work to warrant going downstairs and like watching cartoons or reading or something until Will gets back. How well my makeup lasted. I think... Down here it's fine on the pink, but then up here it's all gone. And I think I prefer glitter here to on my eyelids. So <laughs> that's that experiment. I can show you my t-shirt. I need to do the bottom section and then put faces on all of them. I don't know, I think I will do the sleeves as well. I don't know if I'm going to do the back. I don't know, do people want the back painted? But yeah, I can't really do any more on it at the moment because that's as much as the piece of cardboard that's in there can reach and I don't want to like move the cardboard out until that stuff's dry so I can get to the bottom and like, yeah. So that's that. I also, I got these patches cut out and sewed together and stuff. This is the one where I first tried out doing French nuts. Um, I shared like work in progress photos of this on my stories on Instagram while I was doing it. But this is, this is it finished. I'm going to put that on my jacket. And then this one I did the other day. He's not focusing in the right place. And um, yeah, he's got French knot eyebrows. I really, I really like this. I think it turned out really nicely. I like using the colours without outline, like in the ears and stuff. And the nose, which I think looks really nice. And I think I'm going to put this one in my shop. It's weird knowing that you worked really well. Like I was consistent. I did the Pomodoro, so I did my 25 minutes of work and then my 5 minute break, my 25 minutes of work and my 5 minute break. And um, I worked the whole time. I was working on that t-shirt and I was working on these patches and I'm really pleased with how productive I was. But then when you're like, oh yeah, here's half of a t-shirt painted and I sewed these things onto some felt, it doesn't feel like much work. For other people, if someone else is like, here's a thing I made, it took me a month. I'm like, well yeah, of course it did, look at it. It's amazing. Because when I make something, I expect that I should have I should be able to make it quicker than is possible. But that's just because I'm hard on myself, I suppose. But yeah, things take time. Things really do take time. Doing things by hand nicely takes a lot of time. But it's also a nice way to spend the time. I fucking love making things. So good. Oh, I love it. This morning I got the front of this t-shirt finished with the hearts and the flowers. Once that's dry, I'm going to put hearts and flowers on the sleeves as well. 
and then once all of that's dry I'll go back around and draw the faces on all of it. I'm really excited to see how it turns out. I think it's looking really cute. I think it's going to be, be a pretty good t-shirt. I just came to the bathroom and I'm about to wash my hair but while my face mask settles in and does its job um, I remembered that yesterday Will bought me a little present and it's pretty cute. He got me one of these um, little like surprise egg things and it came with like a plastic wrap on it, it was My Little Pony and Tank helped rip it off last night so that in itself was really fun but the main thing, turn this down a little bit, that came in it that I really really love is this little plastic comb it's got like a sticker with Pinkie Pie and Twilight at the top and then at this end it's got like a little heart cut out and I think I'm going to turn it into like a charm or a necklace or something I think that'll look really cute with like, you know, like a pom pom or some sort of other dangly thing, I think that would be really nice. And then it came with jelly beans and also this little strip of stickers which is really cute, I love ponies, it's such a good cartoon. But yeah the rats love these, especially because they have like the air holes in the top and the bottom and they like get their teeth in there and carry them around and they're like chewing on the plastic. So, you know, it's a win-win gift. It's good for me and it's good for the rats. Are you cosy? Pixel, you look quite alert, but Tank, you look pretty cosy. You're looking after each other. Yeah. It was a nice time. Such a ratty pile. You've been such good boys. This is the longest you've stayed on the sofa without trying to slide off the front of it. So good. Although you do look kind of scared right now. It's like they're probably like backed into a corner. <laughs> but they're just lazy. Lazy and sleepy. waiting for my little eggy to hatch. It's been like this for like five minutes. I looked up a how-to guide and it said that it would take like a minute or so, but they lied. I'm concerned for my little eggy. I waited for like 20 minutes and it wouldn't hatch, but then I googled about it and apparently I needed to like redo the date and stuff, even though it hadn't come up with it. So I've done that and now hopefully my little eggy will hatch. Will's sister is studying for a year in Japan and his mum went out to see her like a month ago and then we saw her today and she gave us some Japanese things so you know we're gonna show them off because it's good vlog content. Will got this what are they called? Nano Blocks Jurassic Park set that came from Universal Studios Nano Blocks is an extremely micro-sized building block born in Japan. It says on the back. It looks really, really good. And these weren't from his mum, these were from his sister before, like, that they got sent and he had to wait for them. But some stickers. Little food stickers. They're so cute. They're adorable. I don't know how to do hauls, this is weird. And then I got this Moomin gift box, which is so cute. And it comes with loads of sweets. There's like multiples of all these things. And then there's these charms that you get one of. And I got this one. I think it's Snuffkin. I'm not sure, I'll have to check. But it's lovely. And then there's these little bits on the back. You can cut them out. And oh, I love Moomin, it's so cute. This is just lovely, lovely little, little gift bag. And then whenever his mum goes on holiday, she always brings us back a fridge magnet. 
This came in a really nice bag anyway, it's really cute. Anyway, even that is lovely. But it's this little, I don't know, is it a Tory gate? Is it a Tory gate? Do you know? Or is it just no, is it something just something a shrine? Day. Like I don't yeah, even know. Day, like specifically, this thing is a gate, and then you get them at shrines, or it is a shrine. I don't know. We're uncultured, but yeah, it's adorable anyway. And it's got a little fox, I think, and it dangles about, and it's just lovely. And uh, last but not least. We have some snacks, we have some corn, what is this, tongari corn, I don't know what tongari means but they look really tasty, and some saku pan, little, looks like little chocolate biscuits, I love the design of this panda, it's so cool, like it's like really cute but it's also like slightly off, like it's not quite the same as some other cute stuff that you get. And look at this panda in the front, he looks kind of mad. I really like him. But yeah. Thanks Will's mum. This is a really good little stash of stuff. Also, oh he's gone to sleep. Did they go to sleep at half past five? So I was going to show, show my Tamagotchi but my Tamagotchi's asleep now. Oh, it's back! It's just a baby! It just sleeps all the time! It's not asleep anymore, there it is. It's called Ratbo. I'm going to try and keep it alive forever. Although I don't think that you can. I think that they will die. It's just whether you get them to old age or not. But yeah, I haven't played this Tamagotchi in ages. I think I bought it a few years ago, second hand, like off eBay, and I played with it quite a lot, and then the battery ran out, and then I couldn't find another battery, and then I got a battery a while ago, and now I've set it up again, and I'm very excited about it, and oh, he's lost a happy heart, I'm going to have to play with my Tamagotchi now. <laughs>